Hey guys, my name is Dave from Guitars Already Hero, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and giving you a full review of the Fender Acoustasonic Player Telecaster that I have right here. Now, when Fender first released the American Acoustasonic a few years ago, the number one complaint was the eye watering price point of that guitar. I even remember when I went into my local guitar store to try it out, it was hanging up alongside the wall of guitars that had the please ask for assistance label on them. And at that point, I just couldn't be bothered. And that's how you know it's an expensive guitar. So Fender have listened to the people and have created this more affordable version, which from what I've seen so far online is remarkably close in build quality to the US version with a few minor differences in features. Anyway, let's first get stuck into the unboxing. Let's see what's inside and then I'll take it for a spin and I'll do my full review. Okay, so straight out of the box, we have this lovely gig bag. This is pretty sturdy. It's like, it's really padded, which is great. It's the uh, the F1225 Fender gig bag. Yeah, it feels, feels really nice. Let's just see what's inside here. Oh, there's a lot of goodies. All right, so we got this pencil case. It's probably a tool bag I'm imagining. We got our manuals in here and even a Fender sticker, which is cool. And we've got this. It's a two-way humidifier. If you see my recent review of the Fender Paramount Acoustic, you'll see that in that package, you also get a humidifier for the acoustic guitar as well. So it's nice to see Fender giving you the tools necessary to take care of your guitar as well. Just so many pockets here. You can see there's pen holders, there's business card holders. There's a lot of pockets here. There's a clip here to put some keys. There's a pouch down here. And there's even another front pocket here. So as far as soft bags go, this one is really, really nice. And on the back, a lot of nice padding there. A zip here, which I'm assuming is really, really nice padded backpack straps. So yeah, really nice quality gig bag. Probably the best I've ever seen in a guitar package. Okay, enough about the case. Let's see the actual guitar. There she is. Absolutely beautiful. That is lovely. Okay, so I'll take this away now for a few weeks to get familiar with the features and sounds and I'll uh, give you a full rundown demo and my overall impressions of the guitar and who I think this would be great for. But yeah, this is, looks really nice. So I'm really excited to try this out. All right, I'm back. So the Acoustasonic, is it an electric guitar? Is it an acoustic guitar? Now in my mind, I'd classify this as a versatile hybrid. Now, the Acoustasonic Player Tele is capable of giving you rich acoustic tones when plugged into a PA or an acoustic amp but it also has the capacity to cover your electric guitar tones when plugged into an electric amp. So let's run through the main features of the Acoustasonic Player Telecaster and how it sounds. Now first off, I have to mention the obvious and unique hollow body construction. Now Fender's website claims that the hollow Telecaster inspired body is naturally loud and resonant with plenty of projection, meaning that the guitar sounds as great on your lap as it does live on stage. Now that's a pretty bold claim. And to be honest, unplugged, yes, the guitar is louder than an electric guitar unplugged, but it's much quieter than a regular acoustic unplugged. So great for quiet practice anywhere you go, but definitely not something you'd be marking up or even loud enough for a big sing-along. So let's take a quick listen to this Unplugged. But anyway, that's not where this guitar excels. Now, when you plug this guitar into an amp or a PA, that's where the magic and inspiration comes. Now the player Acoustasonic features a Fender Fishman undersaddle piezo pickup and a magnetic pickup to provide you with six unique acoustic and electric voicings. So the selector switch here has three positions and in each position you can toggle between two voicings with the blend knob here 
which then equates to the six voicings. This last knob here is just the master volume control. Now to start this demo, I have my guitar plugged into a Boss Acoustic Singer Live Guitar Amp and I'm just using some of the onboard reverb. So let's start with position three here, which lets us choose between a mahogany small body short scale voice, which is a more focused sound, or when we turn the bled knob all the way to the other extreme, we have the rosewood dreadnought, which gives us a bit more low end. So let's take a listen to those two acoustic voices. Now the awesome thing about the blend knob is that you can also mix those two voicings together. So you have the two extremes and then everything in between using this blend knob. Now moving on to position number two, we have clean lo-fi on one end, which uses the unaffected under saddle pickup and then lo-fi crunch on the other end, which has a slightly dirtier sound. Let's take a listen.
Now with the selector switch at position one, we now have access to the classic Fender Teletone using the magnetic pickup. So what I'm gonna do is swap my amp over to an electric amp. I'm gonna plug my guitar into the Boss Katana 100 Mark II. Now the first voicing in this position is the noiseless pickup, which is your standard electric tone. Now on the other end, when we turn this blend knob up, we have the fat noiseless pickup voicing, which adds some grit to our signal. Let's take a listen. Pair this guitar with a basic looper pedal and you can have a ton of fun with acoustic looping. You're controlling the tone and the voicings on the guitar before it hits the looper. So that gives you some power to experiment with your tone and options when you're soloing or overdubbing. With the regular acoustic guitar, you'd be stuck essentially with one tone, so it's not as fun. Let's take a listen. So to recap, you essentially have six unique voicings to play with if you push the blend out to the extremes. But the cool thing is that you also have the ability to blend in between those voicings too, which really gives you room to experiment with tones. So what did you think about the acoustic and electric sounds of the Acoustic Sonic? Let me know in the comments below. In my opinion, the acoustic sounds are really quite impressive. I've had such a fun time playing acoustic tunes through my acoustic amp and on a light and thin form factor like this it's so great to be able to you know easily access those higher frets plugged in in a live setting i think this can really just go toe to toe with any other actual acoustic plugged into a pa or amp but obviously unplugged there's no question that this can't replace a genuine acoustic guitar now the electric capabilities are quite handy too and it's great to have that as an option and it gets pretty close to the real thing. But I think this isn't going to fully replace an electric either. The string gauge on this is a little bit on the thick end too, so the big bends are a little more difficult on this. Let's quickly go over the guitar build and materials. The player Acoustic Sonic is constructed with a mahogany body and neck with a Sitka spruce top and has a 22 fret rosewood fretboard. It's got a 25 and a half inch scale length and a one and 11 16th inch nut width. So pretty much identical dimensions to a regular telly, but with this awesome contoured forearm edge for comfort. Now this is of course the cheaper Acoustic Sonic option, but man, does this not feel like a cheap guitar. The build quality and finishes on this ax are absolutely excellent and I'm not really sure what else you could improve on it. So I think the Mexican Fender Factory have absolutely nailed it. I absolutely love the 
Fender engraved logo on the headstock as well, which really gives this guitar that earthy wooden vintage vibe. The guitar itself requires a nine volt battery at the back to plug in, which should give you about 20 hours of play time. So how does this compare to the American Acoustasonic Telecaster? Now on paper, the form factor and physical dimensions and build are identical. The player is made in Mexico and the American is made in the US. The player is available in four colors and the American is available in five colors. Both have the exact same mahogany body and neck and Sitka spruce top. The player has a rosewood fretboard and bridge and the American has an ebony fretboard and bridge. The player is powered with nine volt batteries whereas the American has an inbuilt USB rechargeable battery. The player has a Fender Fishman on the saddle piezo pickup and the noiseless magnetic pickup and the American has those same pickups but with an additional internal body sensor for percussive elements. So that's one thing that you're missing on the player. Now the biggest difference are the voicings. The player has six voicings, the ones that I mentioned earlier, and the American has five positions on the selector switch, which provides 10 voicings that are different to those on the player. The electric position one using the magnetic pickup is the only voice pair that are the same on both guitars. So if you're tossing up between the two, it really does come down to how much flexibility in voicings you want and if you can afford it. But otherwise, I think the player Acoustasonic is brilliant as it is with plenty of great tonal options. So who do I think this guitar is for and what are the best use cases? Well, if you're a live gigging musician and you play a lot of acoustic gigs through a PA or an amp, you should definitely test this guitar out. The form factor, the sound and versatility make this a really attractive option for playing live acoustic tunes plugged in. If you love looping, then this is a great option as well. As an unplugged instrument, you probably should look elsewhere. Also, if you're a beginner looking for a simple acoustic, this might not be right for you because to really make the most of this guitar, in my opinion, you need an acoustic amp or a PA system, and that's more gear if you're a beginner, so bear that in mind. This is more of a songwriting slash experimental and gigging guitar rather than one that you'd learn the instrument on, in my opinion. Now, at this price point, I think Fender have done an amazing job providing stellar build quality and all the fundamental features of the American Acoustasonic into this more affordable version. And it also comes with an incredible gig bag. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my demo and review of the Fender Player Acoustasonic Telecaster. If you wanna find out more, there's a link in the description below. If you have any questions about this guitar, then please leave them in the comments. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.